Hi everyone, in this video I will talk about the remainder and factor theorems. According to my experience, I noticed some students find it difficult uh, to comprehend this two theorems, the remainder and factor theorems. So before explaining the remainder theorem, I decided to clear some points. Now I will do a division operation on numbers and uh, polynomials and then by comparing them I will uh, try to explain uh, the remainder theorem. I mean what the remainder theorem is or what the this theorem states. Okay so let's get started. So let's take the 17. 17 divided by 5 which we get the uh, quotient as 3 and the remainder as 2. So when we do inverse operation by multiplying the quotient to divisor and adding remainder we will get the 17 which means that 2 multiply 5 plus 2 I mean 3 multiply 5, 5 plus 2 is equal to 17 now if we do the same operation the same division operation on polynomials uh, for example let's take any polynomial 6x5 plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 7 divided by x minus 5. Let's say, I mean, let's assume that uh, we uh, got uh, 4x4 plus 3x squared and plus 5 as a quotient. And let's assume that we did long division and we got 16 as a remainder. So if we try do inverse operation like we did before uh, I mean I, before just doing the in, uh, inverse operation I like just you not just to bog down in details because here all I want is to make actually all I want is to analyze the relation between the remainder and divisor that's why just uh, don't just bog down in these details okay so let's just express this as fx and this one is qx. So when we just do inverse operation like multiplying uh, the quotient to divisor and adding remainder. So uh, by multiplying the qx which is the quotient to x minus 5 and adding 16 we'll get what? We'll get the f of x. So now let's see what the remainder theorem states. Remainder theorem states that when fx is divided by x minus a, fa is the remainder. So let's see. I mean, according to this uh, theorem, x minus 5 is like we just divided the f of x to x minus 5, which the remainder, I mean, the remainder theorem states x minus a is here x minus 5. So uh, this 5 is going to be our a. That means when we just uh, put this like f of 5, when we just uh, plug this 5 in x, we have to get the 16. Let's see, will we get this 16 or not? So when we just plug in 5, so 5 minus 5 multiply q5 plus 16 as you see that this part is going to be equal to 0 and f5 is going to be equal to 16 so this is just what the remainder theorem states and the factor theorem uh, just uh, is just special form of the remainder theorem which states if fa is equal to 0 then x minus a is a factor of uh, this f of x. So I think uh, that's enough just about the remainder and factor theorem. So in order to understand this topic clearly, let's just solve a couple of questions. Okay, in question one it states what is the remainder when x cubed minus x squared minus 3x minus 1 is divided by x minus 1. So uh, as we remember, 
uh, here just x minus a is just x minus 1. It means that when I just plug this 1 in x, I will get the remainder. So let's just simply just put 1, like plug 1 in, in x's. So I will get what? f1 is equal 1 cube minus 1 minus 3 minus 1. It's going to be equal to negative 4, which means that the remainder is negative 4 when this polynomial is divided by x minus 1. Now let's look through the question number 2. In question number 2 it says if x minus 3 is a factor of x cubed minus 4x plus k, what is, the, what is the value of k? So if x minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial, it means that when uh, this x minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial, it means that this, the remainder is going to be equal to 0. So when we just plug 3 in x, it's going to be equal to 0. So let's just simply just plug 3 in x's. So 3 cubed minus 4 multiplied 3 plus k is equal to 0. And we get here 27 minus 12 plus k is equal to 0. And which means that k is going to be equal negative 15. Okay, I hope now the remainder and factor theorem and the solutions are clear to you. And in the end, I'd like to say if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel in order to get our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.